This is Kipchoge, first person to break two hours in a marathon. This is Joyner, the fastest female ever over 100 metres. Bolt, considered the greatest sprinter of all time. And this is me, just your plain old average runner. I run for fun, sure, I take it somewhat seriously, have a routine, run a few races here and there, but I've never thought of being an Olympic runner. Well, that is until now. Hey, Sarah. Hello. <laughs> You're excited about this, I can tell. Well, this is <laughs> payback from me because do you remember a few months ago when you said, how hard could it be to train for the 1500 metres? You're only running for three and a half minutes. That must be easy. Well, it's challenge time. And I know at the Running Channel, we've asked you to up your mileage, up your training over the last couple of months. So how's that been going? You know what? It's been going okay. I've, I've had a go at a double run day and I wasn't a fan. Um, I've had a go at some interval sessions, some running to heart rate and it's all new, but I've been enjoying it. I've definitely run more over the last few weeks than I think I've ever run in my life. <laughs> so I know this doesn't bode well. I mean, Anna ran 260 kilometres. You asked her to run a marathon in her back garden. So I'm a bit scared at what you're about to ask me to do. Yeah, maybe you should be. I mean, this will be, <laughs> um, but I'll put you out of your misery. We're going to ask you to run for an entire week to do the training that I would have done as a professional athlete training for the Olympics. So that's every run, every interval session, every strength and conditioning session, we're going to ask you to replicate over the course of one week. We're going to stick to time rather than distance. So where I would run a 60 minute run, you'll run a 60 minute run. You don't have to go out and run the same distance necessarily, but I still think that's going to be quite a challenge. So. There you go, that's the challenge. We're going to send you through the information about what you're going to do the night before so that you'll have your, your chance to get your head around it and plan for it, but hopefully it won't overwhelm you, overwhelm you with the, the whole week's training in one go. Okay, you know what? I'm feeling quietly confident about this. I mean, your Olympic distance was 1,500 metres, right? So surely your long run must have been a 5K, which takes you about 15 minutes. So I might barely even notice these training sessions. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, I'll leave you to... Um to think about those words over the coming week. So I'm gonna be sending Sarah her training the night before ahead of each day, but if you want a sneak peek at what's in store for her, let's take a look. And it's quite a lot, and I think it really surprises people when they find out that I ran 1500 meters, I was competing for three or four minutes, just how much I had to do throughout the course of the week. And I'm actually really glad that it's her taking it on, not me. I managed to do this over the course of over 10 years as a professional, and it's no mean feat. Sarah's gonna be tired, She's going to struggle with the mentality and the physicality of getting out and doing this every day. We've asked her to build up her training to try and be as sensible as we could ahead of this challenge to try and avoid injury, but I know it's still going to be a shock to the system. So let's find out how she gets on. But before we do, if you haven't already, please do hit subscribe and tap the bell icon to be notified when we upload new videos about running. Now let's dive in and find out how Sarah enjoys her week. Well, that'll teach me to keep my mouth shut. I mean, I'm still quietly confident about this. Andy was a 1500 meter runner. So how hard can a week's training be? I guess I'm about to find out. He's just sent through day number one. So let's take a look. AM, 60 minutes steady run, followed by drills, strides, and a short core workout. I think that's more than I would ever do in a day. Uh, I also don't really know what drills and strides are, so. I think I need to find that out before tomorrow morning. And then PM, 30 minute easy run, followed by foam rolling and stretching. Wow, starting off with a double day. I'm gonna hope that Andy is front loading all of the bad stuff and that it will get easier towards the end of the week. But as a day one, that's quite a lot. I guess I'll see you tomorrow morning bright and early for that first session. Good morning, happy Monday. It's day number one. It's run number one. 60 minutes steady. I'm going to keep it really steady because I don't want to push myself too hard on the first one. I now know what drills are. <laughs> I'm ready to do those afterwards. Watch is ready to go. Let's do it. Of course, it's raining on day number one. <sighs> you know, as an average runner that runs two to three times a week, four if I'm lucky, an hour is definitely not something I would do on a Monday morning but it's definitely something I would reserve exclusively for a weekend and there is no way 
I would put half an hour extra running on the same day, separately. Oh, we're halfway there. Oh, oh, still so fast again. Three, two, one. Oh, stop the watch. Done. 60 minutes steady in the bag. Now, onto some drills. So that is drills done. Actually takes me back to like what we would do before hockey matches at school. I quite enjoyed that. I actually consider doing that in my normal training. <laughs> because my legs feel good. So now I'm just gonna do four times 100 meter strides up and down my road. So I'm back home now. Time for a short core workout using Manny's video. done that is the first I was not even the first day that is the first workout training session of train like an Olympian done as you can hear there's someone else who wants to come out and play now time for puppy hugs a drink some breakfast and a lie down Good evening. I'm just leaving my house. Um, I've spent the whole day filming with Tom for the running channel, which obviously involved shooting bits of me running and little clips and stuff. So there is no part of me right now that wants to be going for a run. Whilst I'm out for this run, I thought it would be a good opportunity to talk about my goals for the week. Obviously, the main goal is to complete all of the training. So far, so good. But equally, I also, as a mini kind of self goal, want to complete all of the training and keep my day-to-day -day life as normal as possible. So, still have a virtual film night on Tuesday, still go to work, still do my working day, because that is the reality for some athletes training for the Olympics. And after one day, it's hard. How do I feel after day one? Tired. <laughs> yeah, really tired. Um, I think the mental barrier of just getting out the door for that second run was really hard. And if I was doing this week in, week out, I don't know how I would get the kind of stamina to be able to go out and do that again. Or maybe it would just become such a routine that you do it. I don't know, but either way, anyone who regularly does double days, I take my hat off to you. Just got my text through from Andy with tomorrow's training. It is an interval workout, 20 minute warm up, eight times three minutes at 10K pace with 60 seconds recovery, 20 minute warm down jog. <sighs> Again, not something I usually do on a weekday, but we'll have a crack at that tomorrow morning. And then also in the afternoon, I've got a 30 minute recovery run. Time for some sleep. Day number two, interval session. Uh, my legs feel like lead, but that's okay. I've got a 20 minute warm up, and then I've planned my route somewhere where there's like a nice flat lap. So let's do it. I don't want to do these intervals. I've got 30 seconds before the first one. My pace is currently 6.25. Sounds about right. And really, my 10k pace should be closer to 5.25. Is that achievable? Probably not. Ah, uh, let's go. Interval number one. 
Oh, there's still seven more after this. Done! Our podcast just finished. Perfect timing. Although, still got 20 minute back. Warm down, whatever it's called. It's kind of cold, does that count? One hour and 12 minutes of running. 30 minutes to do later and a dog walk in between all of that but I feel okay so now I've got morning meeting for the running channel team and I think I'm gonna grab some food and have a little stretch first good evening <laughs> you can probably spot me buy my lovely bright t-shirt today my mum asked if I was going dressed as a lemon for pancake day <laughs> definitely having some pancakes after this um, I'm just doing a little walk warm up for a 30 minute recovery run really I say walk warm up I'm actually just procrastinating because I don't want to start but let's get it over with start the watch off we go I'm sure I'm going to say this throughout this week, but I am so happy that I am only training like an Olympian and not eating like one, because this is really needed. Anyway, I've just had my text for tomorrow's training. Oh, brace myself. Day three, AM, 60 minute steady run. Ugh. And then PM, 30 minute easy run plus S and C session. Oh, and the S and C's got quite a lot of stuff in it. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to see how it goes. But for now, I'm gonna have a shower, eat some food and not think about it. So I just inhaled some pancakes, which were delightful. Um, and now I'm just having a virtual movie night with some friends from uni and we're watching Late Night. Ooh. And here's my other late night snack of a chocolate cookie. <laughs> Morning. It's day three. It's very early and I can't be bothered. I've got to wake up much earlier than normal today because I'm going into the office to do some filming which means I need to do my session between 7 and 8 so that I can get the train in. There's no part of me that wants to be doing this. Sorry if you do wake up at 6.30 on a regular basis but I do not and I'm not enjoying it. 36, 37 minutes in and I'm really struggling with this one. I'm listening to a podcast at the moment all about body positivity, body image and loving yourself and on a hard run day that is something that I really struggle with. The mentally tough miles and my mind telling me I can't do it and that there's no way you can drag yourself through this because you're not an athlete or you're not quick enough or you're not good enough. And that was something that I hadn't thought about in relation to this week. Because I think there's this misconception that just because an athlete is at the top of their game, <coughs> it means that, of course, they're comfortable in their own bodies. But you know what? I don't think everyone is. I think it's normal and it's human and it makes us what we are. And that's really sad because we can do it and we can get through it and that is what I've been saying over and over to myself for the last half an hour because everyone has this everyone has days where they don't want to run they don't feel good in themselves they don't think they can do it but you can and you will brain disagrees at the moment but I'm 20 minutes away from home and I've got a train in an hour so there's only one thing for it so I just got on off the train just walking to the office I 
think I must look about 90 years old doing anything because my legs are so stiff. Walking down the stairs is a struggle. Um, and in my house, I've been, just been going down backwards. But I don't think that's acceptable on public transport. So I've just been going very slowly and very painfully. Hopefully they'll loosen up a bit before the run that I've got to do later. And strength and conditioning. Because we're transferring some files and trying to fit this all into my day, I'm gonna do a little treadmill workout in the office instead. And then I think I might do my strength and conditioning here as well, which is a lot more appealing than getting back to a nice warm house and then having to head out into the dark. So let's jump on Zwift and get this 30 minutes out of the way. My legs are in pain. That was so hard. I think I got quite competitive with myself as well because I was on a treadmill. So I said it at uh, like 5.45 per kilometre. And then, because that felt fine at the beginning. And then I just had to stick with it because <laughs> I refused to put it down. Oh, I just don't want to do a squat. This technically could count as a squat. Maybe I've only got seven left of this rep now. Set even. Right. S and C. And then I can go home. process today it's felt like two weeks have passed since my alarm went off this morning I hurt everywhere I didn't enjoy a lot of the running um, I didn't enjoy that Oh, but you know what, I got through it um, and that's all that matters. I was just thinking as I was packing up about how this is the reality for some athletes who are training for the Olympics. Like you're not gonna have every day completely clear to be able to train, maybe in lockdown, but everyone has life commitments, jobs if you're working or stuff that will come up and will mean that you have to wake up much earlier than normal and will mean that you have to miss things or not see people as soon and stuff like that and I think it's just kind of hit me today and I don't know why I think it might be either the lack of sleep or I don't know what but if you are working and you have a busy day sometimes you just don't want to run but if you're training for something and you need to get that run in then you still have to do it and to be honest right now and when I finished work all I wanted to do was just go and hug my puppy and relax and not have to run and it's just hard I don't even know why I'm crying I think I just I'm so tired um and hungry and I don't think I can do it and bang on cue <laughs> I've just had my text through for what I've got to do tomorrow and spoiler it's not a rest day that I was hoping for so day four a.m tempo run 20 minute warm up jog, 30 minute progression tempo, 20 minute warm down jog. So what's that? 50, 70 minutes of running. PM, 30 minute recovery run. 
These last few minutes are killing me. My right foot is in so much pain. Anyone can do tough things. You definitely need to build up to something like this or I would have been injured, but mind over matter. You can do it. I think running that much has really made me appreciate standing still. Way. Still got to do a dog walk though. Gutting.